how we can check our writing, and it's another step in our writing process, and how we might do that at different times while we're working and while we're writing. Okay. Yesterday, you guys left the carpet, and you guys all had an idea on something that you might proofread. And so I'm hoping I can have some brave volunteers show under the document camera what they were able to proofread, and then we can have a conversation about how that might help our readers. Jackson, were you one of my friends that yeah. proofread? And before you go up, can you show us which one of these checks did you look for in your writing? To make sure I had punctuation. And do you have your book with you? excited when you left the carpet and you were excited to proofread things and see what you noticed. Let's turn so we can see the smart TV. And Jackson, can you find a spot in your writing where you were able to do some proofreading? how you want your reader to read it? Just watch the car! Just like the loud. Re you want the, the reader to read it really loud. Second grade friend, or actually Jackson first, how do you think that's gonna help your reader? Um, they can, um, they can tell um, if he's yelling or that he's really, really mad. <coughs> As a reader, what do those make you usually think of? Yeah, like, like excited. I excited. Guess. I'm curious, Jackson. How will your readers know that your character is actually angry? Maybe really. I would use. Like, if you guys like, I'm so mad. Give him a second to process what we're telling him and have him make a decision as an author on what he would like now that he got some feedback. And then I can write, I'm so mad. Or maybe Let her share before we bump her words. Maybe you could say, like, whatever the author's name. So, like, what's the character's name in the story? Who's yelling? Um, um, I never, I don't really know the name. Well, maybe you should do that. You could be like, like, you, like, just Blake, wash the car. Like, listening Blake, to Isabella's voice. Blake said in a bad voice. You could turn it into dialogue. Or, like, just wash the car. Just watch the car, Sam. Oh, wow. It's okay. <coughs> you could say, like, who he's yelling to. So, Jackson, you've gotten some um, great ideas from your classmates. What idea do you think you might consider in your piece for your reader now that you have some feedback about your choice for proofreading and for punctuation? Um, I'll try to 
they gave you lots of ideas, right? What are you thinking you might want to borrow? Um, well, um, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna get um, the um. But one thing to keep in mind, we do know he just showed us one page that he did some proofreading on and focused on controlling the reader. That was the fun part of, of being able to, to work with punctuation. Um, so I'm excited to see what decision he makes and then be able to share that with, with our readers as well. We might need to know more about what's going on in the story, it sounds like. Right. We went, so we might we might have to think about how we want to do that too so that we don't confuse our readers. Alright. Thank you, Jackson. Do we have another friend who was a 